Hello, I will now show you how to use Polaroid Play for Final Cut and Motion. The first thing you need to do is go to your Generators browser, go to Motion Master Templates, and then do a search for Polaroid Play. With this template, I have made different versions for different frame rates. You have 24 and 48 frames per second, 25 and 50 frames per second, and 30 and 60 frames per second. For this demonstration, I am going to use 25 and 50 frames per second. You can either double click on it or just drag it to your timeline. Let's set this timeline to be 25 frames a second and then click OK. You can now close your Generators panel and open up your Inspector. The first thing we will do is add some media to the drop zones. So you can add video, images, or graphics. So first you click on the drop zone well, and then choose an image. And do the same for the rest. If you happen to have a logo, for example this one, you can double click on it. This will give you some handles so you can resize it. And then you can click on and off your tool to hide the handles. And you can also click on fill opaque. So now you can fill whatever background you want behind your alpha. So this is good if you have a logo or an image that has an alpha channel. So now you can click on fill opaque and then click on fill color and choose any color you want. I'm going to click on the eyedropper here and I'm going to choose this pink purple color from in there. Okay, and let's add some more images to drop zone 3. Uh, let's add this one right here. And then we'll add this one to the top. And I'm going to change that logo and add an actual image. And click on Apply Clip. And I just want to resize this image. And move it around. And same thing with this one. Just toggle on and off your toolbar. You also have the choice to turn on the camera flash. So if you do not want that camera flash, you can just turn it off. You can also turn the background on or off. So if you want to use your own image, your own graphic, or your own colors, uh, you can do that as well. And you can also customize the background color. And that's it. I try to keep this template very simple to use. If you have any questions or comments, please visit the website at motionmastertemplates.com. Thank you for your time and have an amazing day. For more free templates and downloads, visit motionmastertemplates.com.